Hi everyone, KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff in the Weather Center on the eve of the potential for severe weather on Thursday, October 2nd. Time of this recording is October 1st in the evening. Let me get you caught up with the latest. Here's the latest updated 4Ws. What is the threat? First of all, strong damaging winds. Also large hail up to 2 inches in diameter, not out of the question, especially with the amount of instability that we will have. We do have a conditional tornado threat. I'll explain what I mean by that, but if storms can remain isolated ahead of a squall line, that will bring the potential for tornadoes, especially if those storms can develop during the early afternoon. And so everyone wants to know, when does this arrive? Well, according to the latest computer model guidance, it does appear that there's a slight chance of storms overnight. Mainly those are going to be in southwest Missouri and northeast Oklahoma. The greatest chance for severe weather in northwest Arkansas and the River Valley area will be on Thursday afternoon, anywhere from the time frame 11 a.m. to about 6 p.m. in the evening. And the majority of that time, uh, the majority of the main severe weather will be about 2 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon according to the latest timing. So where will this hit? Well we already have the storms in southeast Kansas uh, this Wednesday evening. Storms will develop in eastern Oklahoma by Thursday morning and in northwest Arkansas in the River Valley area those storms will move in to the area by Thursday in the early afternoon. The conditions that are going to bring this severe weather event is a huge dip in the jet stream and what we call a negatively tilted trough. A Gulf of Mexico moisture is streaming in. It's going to be very humid to start off your Thursday. Also some strong low level winds during the initial time period when this severe weather moves in. So notice the updated severe weather risk from the Storm Prediction Center. It's a rather large area shaded in yellow. That could be upgraded to a moderate risk depending on how the uh, uh, thunderstorm development overnight tonight takes place and exactly what the parameters look like tomorrow. Now earlier today severe thunderstorms in southeast Kansas and extreme northeast Oklahoma producing funnel clouds, large hail up to two inches in diameter, also some wind damage in the community of Dewey. But that's not the system that we're watching. It's actually still off to the west. You can see the spin just to the east of Las Vegas and there is that dip in the jet stream. Now right now if we were to take this jet stream and split it in half you can kinda see how it runs from uh, basically the bottom left to the upper right of your TV screen. Now over time this jet stream is going to race eastward and what you're going to see is as it moves eastward the jet stream is going to be positioned in a uh, if we split it in half is going to be developing into what we call a northwest to southeast motion and this right here is what we call a negatively tilted trough and basically that means a lot of energy is swinging in and that potential for severe weather will develop ahead of the cold front. There you can see uh, Thursday afternoon that front will be positioned very close to Tulsa it will at first move rather slowly and then increase its acceleration during the afternoon. So here's the wide view on the future track and this picks up the storms in southeastern sections of Kansas pretty well. Overnight tonight that chance of thunderstorm development remains to the north but things do get interesting as you'll see Thursday late morning into the afternoon in the northeast Oklahoma area. There you can see those storms popping up. Again that jet stream energy and the strong low moves in and you can see those thunderstorms rapidly intensifying in northeast Oklahoma at noon moving into the northwest Arkansas area during the early afternoon and then all the activity does quickly come to an end by Thursday night and it is going to be significantly cooler behind the front. Also notice this little batch of clouds. That system as it moves overhead on Friday is going to bring blustery conditions. So on your future track watch the rainfall develop Thursday morning into the afternoon. You can see those storms exploding. Now when we talked about the conditional severe weather threat and the conditional tornado threat if this is just a solid line of thunderstorms where there's no breaks in the line that will tend to bring more of a damaging wind and a marginal hail threat. However, if any of these storms can develop and remain out ahead of an expected squall line, those are the storms that will have the potential to rotate, produce tornadoes, as well as large hail. So we're going to be watching for, a, first of all, a broken line of storms, and if that happens, kind of like what this is depicting, any one of these storms could rapidly rotate. So that is something that we're going to have to watch, especially with the wind shear. And if a storm 
can remain ahead of the line as you see uh, some of the storms on the future track is showing those will have the potential to produce tornadoes so that's something we're going to watch again you can see the system moving out rain does look likely during the early afternoon this will be a heavy rain as well so what can you do to stay up ahead of all the severe weather? Well, tomorrow, if the severe weather threat does materialize and it does get rather bad, then we will be offering live streaming of our severe weather coverage. That will be on our KNWA mobile app as well as the NWA Weather Authority app. And you'll be able to see that, which is uh, basically right here, live stream. You're going to push that and click on that, and that's going to give you this window right here where you can see all the live streaming. Also, our storm spotters will be out there covering the severe weather, so we'll have all of their streams available as well as you can watch and see what they're seeing out in the field. And finally, we have you covered in multiple ways to keep up with the latest severe weather information. Of course, we're going to have our weather updates and the map on air. Uh, also, on any mobile device, if you have satellite or you have a signal that goes out, well, we're offering live streaming also at nwahomepage.com. And as you saw on the mobile device apps, including the NWA Weather Authority app as well as KNWA, and at times, if available, live chat during stream with one of our meteorologists uh, constantly updating you on the threat. If you have a radio, you can tune that to 90.9 KLRC. Also with Weather Call, that's a great thing. Go ahead and sign up. You can see the web address at your screen. And finally, Weather Radios, we have those at um, Marvin's Food Stores as well as uh, CV Family Foods in the River Valley. And you might want to make sure that's programmed properly and that the weather, the NOAA switch is turned on. So again, we're not trying to scare anybody. We're just letting you know that severe weather is a possibility tomorrow in the afternoon. It's going to be right at the time during kids that are in school. And, uh, you know, so there's going to be probably some commute issues, some travel issues. And so we're going to keep you up to date with the latest. You can always keep it right here with your weather authority and we'll keep you safe.